National Collegiate Dodgeball Association Nationals Tournament. As you can see, the huddles have just now broken up. We are getting ready to get underway. The University of Kentucky Wildcats taking on the Michigan State Spartans. We're gonna get a shot of both teams here and our lovely referees. Excuse me, sir. I was just gonna ask for you just duck. I mean, no big deal. We have a shot of Michigan State. Michigan State will be starting on the right. University of Kentucky on the left. Looks like we're about to get underway here. There's some last minute. I got a point back here. In the background, you hear Saginaw Valley doing their rally chant. Gentlemen, it is game time. Some quick hot action off the opening rush. The UK Wildcats and the Michigan State Spartans have now begun their final game of the day. We have Michigan State backing up. We're gonna get a shot of UK pushing up. 22 with them. Great throw, does not connect though. We're gonna get a shot of Michigan State here. Number 20 fires, and the cross-court throw. Zach Brown, the captain of UK, caught off guard. 22 with another throw, bounces off the ground. Very good shot. Of number 16 throws, gets blocked by number 23. Shout out to the lovely six viewers that are watching this match right now. Michigan State almost had a shot clock violation there, but they narrowly avoided it. We're going to take you into the eyes of the Michigan State Spartans now. Okay, gears up. Throws across and it just skitters across the ground. A flurry of balls coming from Michigan State. And the shot from number 22 takes down number 57 of Michigan State. Nice pump back there by number one. He's just making magic with that ball. Both teams resetting the shot clock. We have UK pushing up here on the right, right wing. 97 fires. You can hear that one all the way back to Lexington. Deflections from both shots. We're gonna keep the shot on the middle of the court here where the most action goes down. We have number eight right in front of me. <laughs> I'm streaming. <laughs> Michigan State keeping the UK Wildcats pushed back. A throw from 97 just jumped over. I believe that was number three who made the jump. Michigan State has the ball advantage. UK would like to look for some catches here. Michigan State fires. I don't believe they connected with any kills. Or it looks like number 36 was taken out in that exchange. Number seven throws. And a nice block from number 77. 77 fires and our UK will be on the offensive. Three fires from behind gets blocked by number 96. Number eight just fires. I believe number 20 with the attempted catch does not 
There just falls up a little bit short. Was not able to complete it. Nice dodge there by number 18 of Michigan State. Oh, number 22 goes down. That's a big loss for the Kentucky Wildcats. Throw from 97 is deflected. I believe number eight, or no, two man, so number six got nailed on the head. 23 went for the catch and just slid out of his fingers. That's a nice throw there. And that is number two for Michigan State. He has just gone down, or excuse me, it's number three. It looks similar from far away. UK needs to make a throw, and they barely get it off at 14. Now we have UK pushing up. We got number 44 on the right side with number 25. Michigan State calling the cross, They're giving their teammates a, just about extra second worth of the awareness to try to dodge that throw. Double zero went for the catch, but pulls away to avoid getting out. A nice block. That ball nearly hit my head, ladies and gents. That was close. A cross-court throw from UK just about dings me in the head. Oh, man. And a nice catch right there by number 16 of Michigan State. They're able to get the throw off and avoid the shot clock violation. We're going to get a better view of the Spartans. Throw from number 97 does not connect. It is blocked away. Number Number eight fires, two balls go towards number 44 of UK. UK pushing up by himself. Oh, and the, the clutch block from number 25, but he gets taken out by a shot to the foot. And with that, the UK Wildcats have been whittled down to, I believe, seven players. While Michigan State is standing strong with most of their roster. I apologize if I jerk away. I don't want to get like hit in the face by an errant throw. UK pushing up. 97 fires and he goes high into the wall. A nice block there from number eight. Great fires. Barely blocked by number three, I believe. Yes, indeed, that is a block. Ball's fired on both sides. Number three with some impressive blocking there. Able to keep himself and number 44 alive. Here you see the Wildcats pushing up. Michigan State needs to make a throw. And that is our first shot clock violation of the match. Michigan State did not get a throw before the count of 15, sacrificing the balls to the University of Kentucky. And now, with the teams reset, UK looking to make some big plays here. UK needs to make a throw. Friendly reminder that on a shot clock violation. Oh dear. Oh dear. Number 77 goes down there. Going for the low throw is easily deflected. But the throws the, the cross court throw nearly taking out number 44. It's very close. Oh! <laughs> 
And a very nice kill from number 44 of the Wildcats. Michigan State narrowly avoiding their shot clock violation. A second one would be very detrimental to the Spartans. Nice Evan fires. It goes cross court. Michigan State now retreating back to the baseline as the Wildcats really need to make some kills happen. Michigan State with the throw is deflected by number three of the Wildcats. And a throw there. <clears throat> a beautiful block from number 44. And just missed it. There's, there's. There it is, perfect. Perfect. At 44. Throw, throw. 44 is taken out by the Spartans. This match is heating up. The UK Wildcats have six. The Spartans have. Now he's out. He's Spartans out. have seven. There's no way that's a catch, Dylan. There's no way. A bit of a dispute on whether that was a catch. And a beautiful catch from number 37. The ball, 37 is a notable catcher, bringing in captain Zach Brown. We have a timeout. Michigan State Spartans have called a timeout. You can sense the frustration from the Spartans from that errant throw. I'm not in a position to make a play on that. I'm simply a commentator, so. As you can see, the Spartans, the Spartans have nine balls, I believe. The Wildcats only with one. Michigan State is at a 10. They will need to make a throw immediately after the whistle. UK with one lone ball and eight Wildcats. The Spartans are barely able to stop the shot clock. Number 97, the lone man with the ball. Still gonna give it full force. He is not afraid at all. A group throw on. Bit of sideline humor from the Spartans here. 96 with a throw is deflected. A cross court throw again. Does not connect. That throw. I wouldn't necessarily call it a throw, but it did count because it was within a, within a step and a dive. I have number eight right in front of me once again. Blocked throw from number 27. Zach Brown. That's unfortunate. He went to dodge the group throw and instead his feet slipped out of bounds. That's very unfortunate. A very close cross court throw, nearly taking out number 97. That would have been huge for the Spartans if that throw connected. 97 was completely unaware. And that cross court throw blocked by number 27. 11. Number eight with a, another cross court throw goes high. Good hit, good hit. Both of these teams very tactical using numbers for their advantage. Now, if UK, UK down to six players. If one more goes out, they will be reduced to a 10 second shot. Yeah, block. there it is. No, it, bro, it was awesome. He's not, you're not in. Get out, 32, oh. it wasn't a catch. There is a dispute over the catch. You know you dropped it. You know you dropped it, three. I just want honesty, and you know you dropped it. A lot of... Number three, 
It has been ruled that he did not make that catch. The Wildcats are now down to five and on a 10 second shot clock. 11, 12, 13. Spartans. There's, are, there's, there's. The Spartans are 30, sitting 10, pretty 30, with 10, six, up, or no, excuse me, uh, seven Spartans to the five Wildcats. 10, 11, 12, 13. Cross court throw, 97. 97 gets a catch, bringing the Wildcats back to a 15 second shot clock. They're back up to six. It is now even. The Wildcats and the Spartans both with six players. We're still on the first point. Neither team has scored yet. The throw there, block on number 26. Cross court throw from Michigan State does not connect. Throw from number 26. Hits the ground. 96. Quick on the counter. Quick on the offensive to get up there to put the pressure on the Wildcats. Number 97. Throws. Hits the ground. Nice to kill the shot clock. Seeing a lot of single throws from these teams, you, you would imagine that some group throws would really make some plays happen. However, number 28 just went down. 11, the Wildcats now whittle down to a 10 second shot clock. I believe they have four now. Now the Wildcats are really gonna be crunched here. She say pushing up with the throw. Almost hit the guy who was already out. 97 with a lovely throw there. The Spartans still with the numbers advantage. The Spartans are up to seven. The Wildcats down to four. At this point, the Wildcats are just trying to string out for as much time as they can get. Try and reduce the amount of points scored in this game. Count of eight. So he's able to get the throw off. 37 will throw. Blocked by 96. Oh dear. Okay. Hey, still be done, still be done, still be done. That number 97 on the Wildcats. I need to get that guy's name because he is just he is just firing. Oh. Number 32 goes down on a cross-court throw to the feet. The Wildcats are now down to three. It looks like the Spartans are closing in on taking this point. Unless the Wildcats can make some clutch catches here. Number 97 is being fed the balls. UK's most notable catcher, number 37, is still in the game. The block on number 73 probably could have caught that, but... It appears number 97 and number Whistle on the play. Adrian, it's okay. Oh, it is a like balls over. The list of places I do not want to be is in number 37 shoes for the Wildcats. We did this earlier, they looked it up in the States. Is that your state? It happened in the SVSU versus JMU game. They had to throw from an eight second, and two seconds to throw. They would, three of them pulled out the rules. It's in the rules, but it's stupid. Yeah, that thing's a change. I mean, that's fine. That needs to change. I think it should be reset. You guys will find it. Just, hey, whatever's last thing is going to happen. Five seconds. All right. Everyone's ready. Spartans. Are oh, you good? Spartans looking to take out number 37. Can they finish this point out? And they do. So with eight minutes and 47 seconds left in this half, the Michigan State Spartans are now up one to zero over the University of Kentucky Wildcats.
There you see the lovely Evan Bemis, WKU alumni helping set up the balls. That man is one of the best blockers the NCDA has ever seen. But the story here is the University of Kentucky Wildcats and the Michigan State Spartans. The Spartans are now up one to zero. The Spartans had a, had a very, very close, very intense overtime game against Kent State in their second game. Barely pulling it out with a clutch catch. And here we go on the opening rush. Michigan State grabbing three of the balls. They're now contesting for that 10th ball. Number 31. That ball just barely slipped through. Michigan State with the throw. Number 31, the ball just kind of slipped through. Wasn't able to get the block off. A cross court throw from UK nearly gets a Michigan State player in the foot. But he hit the ground before that. A throw from Michigan State, resetting the shot clock. 20 fires and is deflected by 25 and the ground. 22 from UK with the throw. The cannons are being loaded today. And a block from number 77, Michigan State. Again, more blocks. UK pushing up the left side. You can see two of their players have four of the balls. Zach Brown with a throw is caught by number 57. And brings back in number 31 of the Michigan State Spartans. 11, 12, 13, throw, not able to connect. 16 with the throw is deflected by the Wildcats. We're going to zoom in a little bit here. We're going to give you a better shot of the action. 10, 11, here. And number seven pushing up. Nice with the throw. And a throw from Michigan State. Michigan State with many cross court throws. 36 goes down. He is not able to get that catch. It's very unfortunate. Spartans now with the advantage. A throw from the Wildcats. 27 with a beautiful deflection from that throw. Now we have the Wildcats pushed up. They clearly have the ball advantage here. They want him. On the ball, crosses back over to Michigan State territory. An unbelievable. Wait. Oh. Was that not a, I believe that was a team catch. It did, oh, uh, well, damn. Apparently that was not a team catch. I heard some chatter from the Wildcats and assumed it would be, but it was not. One three with the throw. Wildcats backing up as the Spartans go on the offensive. Cross court throw, I believe it just barely missed number 32. And number 16 for the Spartans has gone out on that on that throw. That's nice pump fake right there by number seven. Seven fires. Barely deflected, deflected again. Number three with some impressive blocks there. Saving his teammate. Now we got the Spartans pushed up. See O'Brien, number 18. Oh, we have eight viewers now. That's a record. Let's see, Let's see if we can get some more viewers to this. Very nice block. The throw from Michigan State does not result in a kill. It is blocked. 
They have the Wildcats. Some impressive blocks here. Madness going down mid-court. Nice hit. And the ball flies over my head after it goes off 25's leg. And, it, and while that happens, a team catch. Pouncing off number 28, caught by 44. This is an unbelievable turn of events here. And number, oh, it's the second number 16, that is Wilkinson going down for the Spartans. They have two number 16s. And a catch there, bringing back in the first number 16. Let's see, bringing up Wilshire. Number seven with a throw, just barely missing the feet of number 20. And a catch by number 20 of Michigan State, bringing in O'Brien, number 18. And the Spartans have just taken absolute control of this matchup. I calls it as I sees it. And a throw there, just barely missing number 73 of the Wildcats. Hey, we got nine viewers now, what up? Wildcats, I believe they have, they're only down to four. Well, the Spartans have almost their full roster. This is reminiscent of the first point. The throw does not connect. Wilshire with the throw is deflected. UK gonna try and we're gonna try and take this point as slow as possible. 10, 11, 12, 13. 28 is obviously very frustrating. It's, the emotions are very high when it comes to nationals. Number 37 has been taken out. 73 needs to make a throw. The last thing he wants is a shot clock violation against a full Michigan State roster. Now you have number 73 and number three for the Wildcats. The duo here. Michigan State is pushed up on the front lines. They are not giving the Wildcats any alleviation. Cross court throw. A catch from number eight and 73 goes down and the Spartans have scored once again. UK. That is the end of the first half. The Spartans up 2-0 to zero over the University of Kentucky Wildcats. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back with the second half from the Preston Health and Activity Center. My finger just went in the camera. Oh, boy.